guys, it's Julia from Crocoblog. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to create a listing template for custom taxonomy with the help of Jet Engine and Jet Team Core plugins. Moreover, I will show you how to display it in the listing grid. Yeah, sounds quite complicated, but it's easy. Just follow along this simple six step tutorial. And as a result, you've got something like this. We have taxonomy in the form of a listing grid. Once we click on the certain category, for example, Southern Ukraine, we see here the custom posts which belong to this category accordingly. Here is how we do that. First, be sure that you have the custom post created. I'll be using the post from Discover Ukraine post type. Do you remember it? We've created it together during our last tutorial how to create a listing grid. If you haven't checked it out yet, don't be shy and follow the link over the right corner. Let's lay the foundation. Step 1. Creating custom taxonomy. Move to the dashboard. Follow Jet Engine, then Taxonomies. Click Add New. Fill in the taxonomy name. I think direction would be the appropriate one for my purpose. Select post type to add this taxonomy for. That would be Discover Ukraine. Then open the advanced settings and switch on the hierarchical option. Let's say I want to add photos to this taxonomy later, so now all I have to do is to click New Meta Field. Fill in the label. Choose Media as Meta Field Type. Click Add Taxonomy to save the changes. Easy as pie, isn't it? Step number two Add in categories. We need to create the categories under this taxonomy. Click on your post type, which you previously attached to the taxonomy. You see, that's my direction taxonomy, and it's located right in the post type Discovery Cream. Just click on it. Here we are gonna to create the categories. I want to categorize the posts on the subregions. Therefore, first goes Northern Ukraine. Fill in the name. The slug would be filled out automatically. You may add description if you want to. Next is picture. Choose media. Upload the file or choose the one from your media library. Once you decided on the picture, click add new category. And it appears straight away from the right side. Cool, we have the needed categories. Over the next step, number three, applying categories. We are going to apply the categories to the custom post. For this, you need to click on your post type. Then you have several options, edit and quick edit. By clicking edit, the post opens and you see the direction area on the right side where you can choose the category. Click update to save the changes. Go back and when you are clicking on quick edit, you save your time and choose the category in one second. No need to scroll your post. Update. Repeat this step for every post in this post type. Let's move to step number four. Archive listing grid for posts. We are going to create an archive page with the listing grid for the posts and set the conditions. Let's get to it. Go to Crocoblock. Then My Library. Click Add New. Select Type as Archive. Fill in the template name and click on Create Template. In Elementor, find, drag and drop the listing grid widget. Choose the listing for posts. Here we have to slide use as archive template to yes. Move to the settings. Follow to preview setting and choose your post type so the post would be displayed appropriately. Then click on conditions. The general option should be set as archive. For the archive choose custom taxonomy archives. In taxonomy field choose the one you need in my case, that's direction. We are done with the archive settings and we are going to create the listing grid for terms. But first, we need to have the listing item for the terms set already. That's why we are moving to the step number five, listing for terms. Let's briefly go over the editing process. Go to Jet Engine on the dashboard panel. Click Add New. Let's set up the listing item. Choose terms as listing source. Then our recently created taxonomy, the direction in my case. Type in the listing name and choose the view, whether in Gutenberg blocks or in Elementor page builder. Once you're done, click Create listing item. Here in Elementor page builder, use our special dynamic widgets to create the needed listing. Find the dynamic field widget, drag and drop it to the page. Choose the post term user data as a source. In object field, click on the term name. OK. If you want to display the picture, proceed to the dynamic image widget. Choose the source from your taxonomy meta field. Style it up to sweeten the design of your listing grid down the road. 
Finally, step number six, add in listing grid for custom taxonomy. We've created the taxonomies and listing items now. Smash it all together and done. Thank you for watching. Okay, guys, rewind. Step number six, add in listing grid for custom taxonomy. Let's move on to the page in Elementor where you want to locate the listing grid. Find the listing grid widget, drag and drop it. Choose your listing for terms. Play with the columns number and other settings if you want to. Once you're done, click update. Now, let's have a look how it works on our website. Here we have our listing grid for a custom taxonomy. Once I click on any, posts from this category appear. Easy as one, two, three, or basically four, five, six, while you need to follow six simple steps and you've got the adorable functionality on your website. Thanks for watching it. I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Stay tuned for updates. May the Crocoblock power be with you.